The age old question, does it make more sense to rent or buy a home? If you're a renter and you're thinking about purchasing a home, I will be going over when is the ideal time to purchase a home and three common mistakes that people make when comparing the idea of renting versus buying. Toby Fernie here with Caldwell Banker Realty in Monterey, California. If you are new to the channel, it is all about real estate and living here in Monterey. Likes and subscriptions are always greatly appreciated. When is the right time to buy a home? The first and most common mistake that I see people make is trying to time the market. Is the market going up? Is the market going down? When is the market going to crash? Is my home gonna be worth double in three months? Trying to time the real estate market is like trying to time the stock market and sports betting. Unless you're the legendary Warren Buffett or Biff from Back to the Future, trying to time the real estate market is like trying to catch lightning in a bottle. What you need to know is that historically, the real estate market has gone up year over year. Real estate has either kept pace with or outperformed the stock market and other forms of investing. As an example, in 2020, homes in Monterey County went up around 30%. And in the 10 years prior to that, homes went up an average of around eight to 10% per year. If you're looking for a form of investment, purchasing real estate over renting is the clear choice as you're putting money towards your own future, not your landlord's. Mistake number two that I see people making is hoping to purchase a home and spend the same amount of money that you're currently paying on rent for your mortgage in the same size house that you're renting and in the same neighborhood that you currently live. I completely get it. If you're making a major purchase like a home, you wanna love where you live. But if purchasing a home meant that you would be paying the exact same that you're paying in rent or even less, then this wouldn't be much of a debatable topic. The reason that your rent is lower than current mortgage costs is because your landlord purchased your home years ago and currently the cost of your rent is covering their mortgage and then some. Rent, unless your landlord is a saint, will continue to rise every year or every couple of years. When you lock in a fixed rate mortgage, your payment will either stay the same or go down if you elect to refinance at a better rate in the future. When purchasing a home, expect that you may need to move next to your ideal neighborhood or buy a smaller home or a fixer upper. You're likely going to be spending more on your first mortgage than you currently pay in rent, but this leads me to my third mistake that people often make when comparing renting versus buying. Mistake number three is forgetting about the tax benefits that you get as a homeowner. At the end of the year, you're going to be able to write off certain expenses like the interest on your loan and the taxes that you pay as a homeowner. When you work with a mortgage lender, they're going to explain your monthly payment as the PITI, which is the principal, insurance, taxes, and interest. Those are all gonna be lumped together into one payment. We've determined that your mortgage or your PITI is likely going to be more than you're paying in rent. But you're forgetting that the TI, taxes and interest in that equation are tax deductible items. I'm not even gonna pretend to be a CPA on YouTube, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you check in with a CPA to figure out how much you're going to be able to write off as a homeowner, but it wouldn't be out of the question to write off $10,000 at the end of the year in those expenses. $10,000 divided by 12, that averages out, uh, carry the three to $833 a month. So if you can find a home to purchase with a PITI payment of say $500 or $750 more than you're currently paying in rent, you are actually going to be spending less on a monthly basis than you do as a renter. Okay, now that we've got those mistakes out of the way, when is the ideal time to purchase a home? If you're planning to stay in the same area for two to three years, have the proper credit score and at least 5% for a down payment, then it makes sense to purchase a home over rent. You'll want at least 5% down and a high enough credit score so you can utilize a conventional loan. Why I'm suggesting that you live in this home for at least two to three years is for several reasons. After owning and living in a home for at least two of the last five years as your primary residence, 
When you sell a home, you will have a lower tax burden. The second reason is that there have been time periods where the real estate market has dropped month over month. But if you're looking to sell your home after two or three years, unless you're selling your home at an unusual drop, chances are that the value of your home will have increased during that time period. Lastly, it makes sense to live in a home for at least two to three years because there are expenses associated with selling a home. In order to recuperate those expenses and make a profit, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're in that home for at least two to three years so you can build some value in your home and also gain equity as you're paying off those monthly mortgage payments. If you are financially able to purchase a home and you plan to live in the same area for two to three years, then it makes sense to buy over rent. Outside of owning a business or selling technologies, owning a home is one of the best ways to build generational wealth. If you need to improve your credit score, you don't have 5% for a down payment, and you're not sure if you're planning to live in the current area that you're in for at least two more years, then it probably makes sense to rent over buy. If you have any questions about real estate, living here in Monterey, or you're ready to find your dream home in the area, feel free to give me a call or send me an email at toby.fernie at gmail.com. Like and subscribe, stay tuned for future content all about real estate and living here in Monterey, California.